service. I know some have uh, come from afar, uh, from uh, overseas. I can see the Vice President of the Fiji First Party uh, from Sydney. Please, can you to stand up with your lovely wife? So that everyone can come up. The President of the Fiji First Party in uh, Sydney and the Secretary have deserted them. They left yesterday because of work commitment. Uh, Sylvester, are you still from Canada? Still here? Uh, Robert Khan and his team from New Zealand have left. And there were also some supporters from England who came especially for the election. They've also left. But for us in Fiji, I have the, I've told the uh, people from Unolemu uh, that uh, on my return from the United Nations, we intend to have a Thanksgiving service in Unolemu. We can't forget these people from the world of Uh, for those that have come from Nepal in the Western region, from Ba, can you uh, please stand up with you, Ba? <laughs> from uh, Lotoka. <laughs> Batukola.
for the love and support they have given me over the course of this campaign and over the past eight years. I want to thank the officers and rank and file of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces who have unwillingly stood by me since the events of 2000 and who have stood for the ideal of true democracy. I wish to publicly acknowledge and thank them for their camaraderie, their vision, their perseverance, and their sacrifice. It is their legacy that today we have a democratically elected parliamentary government under an international playing constitution with a vast array of civil, political, and social economic rights, and that will deliver good governance and transparency. I also want to thank our supporters who turned up in such great numbers across the nation to vote for Fiji first. I know not everyone voted for me, but the fact that we have so far approximately 32 seats in the 50 seat parliament demonstrates the enthusiasm the faith and the trust the Fijian people have had for both the track record of my government and Fiji First Manifesto. I wish to take this opportunity to thank them for that faith and trust they have put in me and Fiji First. I also wish to thank you all for your desire and enthusiasm to embrace a new, peaceful and prosperous Fiji. The election has been run extremely well, and I want to pay a special tribute to the supervisor of elections, Mr. Mohammed Salim. <laughs> Whose calm yet decisive leadership skills were exemplary, his army of support staff, the Electoral Commission, the Multinational Observer Group, or MOG, for their professionalism and the international partners for making this the most efficient, the most transparent and credible election in British history. I would also like to thank each of my candidates for their hard work during the campaign. We tried as hard as, hard as we could to win all 56, and I'm sorry that some of you have missed out. But rest assured that your hard work for our movement will not be forgotten and I will always be grateful. I also want to thank our party members, our party workers and volunteers, the army of ordinary men and women who believe in us and our cause and gave up many hours, days and weeks to help help us carry our message to the nation. This victory is yours too, because we simply couldn't have done it without you. You put Fiji first, because you passionately believe in our mission to build a better nation. And thanks to you, that mission continues. We to all of you. While I'm sure that the supporters of other political parties are disappointed, I want to say to them that this is how parliamentary democracy works. I also want to say to them that I intend to govern for all these years. I will be your Prime Minister too. Because I have passionately believe in one nation, one Fiji, and that everyone has a place in it. Whoever you are, wherever you come from, and whoever you voted for. 
in this election, an overwhelming majority of Fijians have embraced the principle of unity that binds us all together. We are strong as a nation. In fact, we have never been stronger. An overwhelming majority of us have turned our backs on the politics of division and embraced, it, embraced a united future. We have chosen, chosen, sorry, we have chosen the path of fairness and justice, the path of equal opportunity. To the minority who are still caught in the past, I say to you, please come and let's all move forward together. We must have an inclusive treaty in which no one is left behind. I am the Prime Minister of all Fijians. I am the Prime Minister for all Fijians, of all Fijians for all Fijians. The days of friendly to special interest groups, to elites in certain areas of the country are over. Now the days of meeting the needs of ordinary people and their families will continue and will be new together. We intend to ride the current wave of economic growth that is certain to now increase even more. We will use this growth to meet the needs of all Fijians, to improve services, create more jobs in particular for our youth, and continue with building more and better infrastructure. The next phase of our reforms will build upon what has already been started, but we will take it quickly to another level. This includes overhauling the civil service to streamline it, make it very professional and far more efficient. We went to the nation with that message of service, of delivering what people need to improve their own life. And I intend, in the new parliament, to redouble our efforts to provide service to every region in every part of the country. We have a vision of a prosperous, modern, and inclusive city, and we intend to achieve it. I call on every region, no matter who they vote for in this election, to join me on that mission. We work hand in hand <laughs> to make Fiji truly the way the world should be. This is a victory for all Fijians. This is when history will record that as a nation we embrace a new future. I personally believe, I personally believe that the future must be based on unity, equality, most importantly, compassion and love. And I'm deeply touched and grateful that so many of you have shared my vision and put your trust in me to take our beloved nation forward. As well as forming a government, I will be traveling to New York in the coming days to attend the United Nations General Assembly. There, I will tell the world what we have just accomplished in Fiji. It will be a landmark occasion because I promised the nation of Fiji and the international community that I would take Fiji to the first general democracy in our history and I have kept that promise. Thanks to the support of the Fijian people. But this is not the end of the journey. It is only the beginning. Today, <coughs> we rededicate ourselves to making Fiji great, the preeminent Pacific Island nation and one respected the world over. It is a future that we owe our young people. It is a future that we owe ourselves. As I have said all throughout this campaign, there has never been a better time to be Fijian. And with God's blessing, even better days lie ahead.
because we have never been more united or more committed as Christians to finally fulfilling our destiny. May God be with us. May God be with us as we try to build a better nation for all Christians. May God bless Fiji. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us give another big round of applause.